Hey guys, we had to do a little work on DV's flow bench today. It was having uh, big problems. So we had to take the back of it off. We had to uh, fix the issues. As you can see, this doesn't look right, but it actually works the way it's supposed to now. Okay, we're kind of stuck in the corner, but we'll be able to scroll through and take a look. Okay, this is an SF300. Okay, so it has less motors than the 600. But it, in reality, it flows about 400 CFM. Now, was it upgraded at some point? It must have been because an SF300 will not flow 400, as far as I know. If, if uh, I'm wrong, please correct me. Okay, so this is the motor controller. This is uh, completely electronic. It comes off the Flowcom to set the depression, okay? It's a motor speed controller. So you can see we have our 240 volts feeding it, and then we have, I'm willing to bet it may even be DC what comes out. I bet it's DC. It doesn't even say what we have coming out. Not to worry. Interesting what they do here, right? This is this is a switch that changes the vacuum from intake to exhaust. This is the the part that we had problems with. As a matter of fact, I have to tighten this nut. I almost missed that. And you see, I have lube on it because we had to squirt some WD-40 on it to loosen everything up. It was all jammed. The problem was that these doors, these dampers here, were not aligned properly. Okay, there was a big overhang on this, this side. So it wasn't, it wasn't, as it is, it's not perfect. There's just a little bit of an edge on this right now. But when you go this way, this one's fine. So, did the best we could with it. It's not 100% perfect, like my wife and Carla. And take a quick look at some of this, right? We have... 230 amp fuses. We have a small contactor that energizes the controller and the flowcom. Right, our two switches, one to energize the coil on this contactor, and the other one is for the light up above. Not a lot to it. Can we see inside of it? Yeah, there's a bunch of motors in there. I probably, well, I can't even count them all. But they're big vacuum motors. Actually, they're, notice we've got two different type, style vacuum motors right here. Right, that one is different than that one. Okay. I know Marvin did some work to this. He had extra motors in here at one point because I can still see the wires he has hanging in the breeze. I don't know. He must have taken them out and filled the holes, otherwise it wouldn't, it wouldn't work at all. This plate has got a radius holes that go through to each motor. And let's see if we can look inside. Okay, you can see the valve that it's attached to the handles, okay? That valve goes up and down. You know what, since I got this open, I think I'm going to hit that with a little WD-40, too. Okay. This is a little sub-panel I put in for DV years ago. Right, we had to power some benches, and we had to power a little room in the back where we built a bathroom. So that right now feeds this bench. We put a long, long heavy-duty cord on it. The bench was making a horrible noise. It wound up being a, a piece of broken wood bouncing around on the bottom. We also had to go through and reset the amount of depression. Like mine is 28.6 something. This one is actually 28.85. And what you have to do is you have to calibrate it. All right, get our level exactly zero. Okay, and then when you energize it and it goes under depression, it has to be at 28. If it's not, 
your whole calibration is off. Then you have to go through each plate, intake and exhaust for each range. You can't go by the Superflow calibration plate, one, because it's missing, two, it's at 25 inches. You can use a conversion for the 25 inches. Want to say anything about this, Carla? I can't believe it was a piece of wood. <laughs> say that again. I can't believe it was a piece of wood. <laughs> all right, guys. So now we got all this taken care of. I have to put the backpack on. I don't think I'm going to move it without Andy here because it's heavy. And uh, we're going to start flowing that LS3 enforcer head. And in reality, I'm going to be here a couple more days. I'm really hoping they can get the LS3 heads off that test engine and I can do a little work to them. When I have the, uh, I brought some flow sheets so I can go through my air speeds and stuff on the LS3 enforcer head. By the way, Eric Weingartner did a great job on it. We did a, we did a video that'll be, I don't know whether it's going to be published today or tomorrow. And I think it's going to be on DV's channel. We did a, a mold on that and we talked about it. And then, <laughs> and then DV goes, oh, Eric beat us to it. <laughs> but Eric, Eric did a great job. Definitely check him out. But uh, we went through the mold and talked about that. We're going to get more specs on that LS3 today. Overall, it looks like a great design. Whoever did it knew what they were doing. And Carla is putting up with me and having fun. Right, Carla? <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good night.